Hey there guys, it's Mr. Herbst here, and today I'm going to go ahead and introduce us to our unit on animal behavior. Studying animals is actually one of the biggest reasons why I kind of wanted to study biology in college. I feel pretty strongly that studying how animals work and behave is sort of one of those big hooks for not only biology, but also science in general. It's one of the coolest things that science has to offer. And so after my love for biology sort of took off because of the study of animals, my love for plants and just life as a whole and how all of life is sort of interconnected sort of took off and then it really kind of stemmed into my actual love for science in general and in this unit we're going to talk about some really cool things nature versus nurture debate we're going to talk about how do animals communicate have you ever seen how like a, a baby chick will open its beak and sort of peck at its mother well that's actually a form of communication it's telling its mother hey feed me I'm hungry and so that's kind of the things we're going to go into in this unit. But before we do that, I want to talk about actually what it means, what is, what is the scientific term for behavior. Well, behavior is simply just an action that's, that is carried out by muscles or glands in response to a stimulus. So it's, it's basically a response to something going on. So now this PowerPoint here is going to go ahead and focus on the nature versus nurture debate. Uh, if we look at these lions right here, do you think that they were born with the ability to hunt or did they know all the skills to how to hunt prey or is it something that's kind of passed down from parents to offspring? Well that's kind of sort of what the nature versus nurture debate is about. If we talk about things in nature, we're talking about things in our genes. And so we're talking about uh, basically is behavior genetic? Is it something that's encoded in our DNA? Or is it something that is sort of learned? That is what we're referring to as the nurture debate. And so the nurture debate is talking about things that are influenced by our environment. So in our environment, you have food and you have things that are passed down from your parents to you. And so basically, is our behavior part of our genes? Is it part of our DNA? Therefore, we have no control over what we do or is it something that's kind of learned from just growing up nature versus nurture some really cool experiments that we've done to kind of test uh, whether or not it is nature or nurture and is found in birds we have done some pretty cool experiments to kind of test the nature versus nurture debate one has been with these types of birds called lovebirds uh, we find this species of lovebirds called Fisher lovebirds where they actually cut really large strips of leaves and carry them in their beak over to wherever they're going to build their nest. And so basically they use their beak as a way to transport materials to uh, their nest that they're building. Now these little cuties down here, they do something a little bit different. They, the peach face lovebirds, cut really short strips of leaves and then they kind of jam those uh, strips of leaves underneath of their feathers and kind of use their feathers as a way to transport those little strips of leaves over to their nest. And so what we kind of wanted to test is, is it in our DNA or is it in the DNA of these birds, otherwise known as the nature, to carry them in their feathers or in their beak? Or is it learned? that they carry them in their beak or underneath of their feathers. And so what we did is pretty cool. We interbred those lovebirds, which means that we took one Fisher lovebird and one peach phase lovebird and kind of bred them together. And what we found was that the offspring of this cross had difficulty building nests. At first, the birds, and this is kind of surprising, this is kind of, this is really cool. At first, the offspring, they cut like intermediate, medium-sized strips of leaves and tried to put those underneath their feathers. So they tried to actually kind of do like, like what both of their parents do. And the, what they found was that those little hunks of, a little chunks of leaves were too big and they kind of fell out. And so they were no good at bringing things back. But after about three years or so, after about three years, the birds began to learn that, well, why don't I just carry them in my beak? 
And so this study was absolutely remarkable because it showed that the offspring, when we crossed the two types of birds, the offspring tried to put them underneath of their feathers. And so it actually showed that behaviors are probably controlled by nature. For other, in other aspects, it's things that are in our genes. But not everything all the time is in our genes. And we'll focus on that later on in this unit. Another really cool experiment that you could even do yourself, kind of, is to just look at a pair of identical twins. Maybe you're, you yourself has friends that are identical twins. Well, um, it's not super scientific if, you know, you go ahead and try to do your own study. But what we kind of do is we look at identical twins that were separated at birth. So the key thing there is separation at birth. Why is that key? Well, if they are separated at birth, the two twins are going to grow up in different environments. It would be irrational to think that the foods that they ate is going to be exactly the same and the parents that they had is going to be exactly the same. Basically, what I'm getting at is if we had separated identical twins from birth, they're going to grow up in two different environments. So that is going to tell us whether or not nature or things that are in their genes really takes control. And what we find here is pretty remarkable. If twins are separated at birth, even though they grew up in different environments, we find that they have similar food preferences, they have similar activity patterns, and they even select mates with similar characteristics. So it kind of shows that there are some things that certainly are in our genes or are, are predisposed in our DNA. But, and here's something to kind of think about, is everything nature? That is certainly not true. For example, do you think that something like racism is something that is in our DNA? Is it in our genes to be racist or is it something that we kind of learn as from our environment? Anyway, here, guys, uh, this is Mr. Herbst here. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about how uh, animal behavior sort of works. Our main focus today was on the nature versus nurture debate. Again, you must go ahead and complete the Google Forms, and I'll put a link in the description below for full credit. Hopefully you take good notes. Anyway, I'm signing off, folks. You all have a nice day.